Alright, let's solve this problem. No? Uh, ang gagawin natin ngayon is I'm going to use multiplying by cancellation. If you haven't seen my video lesson on that yet, the link will be on uh, the uh, description box itong video na ito. And I'll also post it sa comments. Okay? Um, this is a technique that I recommend that you know and you practice using. Kasi pagdating sa actual exam, this can save you time. Instead of multiplying big numbers, uh, this can actually uh, minimize yung need for um, reducing the fraction into lowest terms. Now, why do I say that? Kasi, kapag hindi nyo alam yung technique nito, what you're going to do when you encounter this type of problem is just basically multiply everything na nasa taas and then multiply everything na nasa baba. Kasi ganun yun when you're multiplying fractions. But the problem with that is, ang laking number kasi ng 9 times 12 times 24. So, the first thing that you should do is to find a way kung paano siya mas paliliitin. And again, ang pinaka-bonus nito is, if you do it right, you may not need to reduce yung sagot ninyo into lowest terms, which is going to be a huge problem if you're dealing with big numbers. Kasi imagine ninyo kung ilang thousand yung nakalagay dito, thousand yung nakalagay dito, tapos if a factor nyo pa siya. So, para ninyo na siya kailangan gawin, all you need to do is to find pairs ng factors doon sa mga numbers na nasa taas at nasa baba. What do I mean by that? Now, just by looking at it, you can see right here, itong 12. Ang 12 na to is, ano eh, pareho lang yan sa 4 times 3. Okay? 4 times 3. Ang 16 naman, pareho lang yan sa 4 times 4. Ngayon, dahil itong 4 ay meron sa taas at meron din sa baba, that is equal to 4 divided by 4 or 1. So, pwede mo na siyang burahin. So, i-cancel na natin yan. Hindi na siya kailangan. Dito naman, ang 15 is 5 and 3, right? And you have 3 right here na pwede mong ipares dito. So, pwede mo na rin siyang i-cancel. Again, what we're doing here is basically anything na meron sa taas at meron din sa baba, pwede mo siyang i-cancel. Now, in this case, 4, yun natitirang number dito, at 24, may relationship din sila. Kasi ang 24... Okay, can be 6 times 4. So, yung 4 na ito, you can also cancel this kasi may 4 sa taas. At ang maiwan na lang ay 6. Which means, itong 9 kasi at saka 6, wala ka nang magagawa dyan. Ang natira na lang sa ilalim ay 5 and 5. So, hindi mo na siya pwedeng galawin kasi wala nang divisible sa 5 dyan. So, what you can put right here would be 9 times 6 which is going to give you 54. Over, and then yung natitira, which is 5 and 5, which is 25. So, the answer here would be 2, kasi dalawang 25 ang meron sa 50, and 4 over 25. Again, mas mabilis kaysa sa kung imumultiply ko lahat, tapos tsaka ko siya i-reduce into smallest terms. So, these simple tricks like this can actually save you a lot of time if you're taking the civil service exam or any aptitude exam na timed and um, kailangan yung magsagot na mabilis, this can actually help you a lot. So I hope that you learned that. If you want more, again, you can watch the full video lesson doon sa link na I'll post with this video. And uh, there will be more of these coming soon, so don't forget to watch out for that. Thanks, guys, and happy learning. Aja, aja, kainyan. I'll see you on my next video, and bye for now.
Thank you.